The largest by-elections in Korea's history are less than a day away. Our Ji Myung Gil reports on the final stretch of the campaign trails for 15 seats in the National Assembly and what the outcome of the elections will mean for the parties. Candidates in Wednesday's by-elections have just one more day to appeal to voters on the campaign trail, and the rival parties are leaving nothing to chance. They'll be out all day shaking hands and rallying up support, particularly in the races in Seoul and Gyeonggi-do province, which are neck and neck. Five candidates are running for seats in Gyeonggi-do province. We're showing the people that we want all our candidates to be elected. I've been eating and sleeping here in Seoul's Dongjak district and in the city of Suwon. That is why I wasn't able to attend some party meetings. The opposition candidate has been boosted in Seoul's Dongjakbi district and two constituencies in Suwon, Gyeonggi-do province, after unifying under one candidate. The Conservative Party has attacked the move as political collusion, but the main opposition party and the minor opposition Justice Party claim the alliances were formed by the candidates on their own accord. For both rival parties, the stakes in the by-election are high. A positive outcome for the Senuri Party will provide a further boost for newly elected chairman Kim Moo-sung, while a win for the main opposition party would do the same for co-chairs Kim ang gil and An chol su who have led the party since forming it in March. A loss would have the opposite effect for the duo. They handpicked the candidates in many of the race's more important districts, generating criticism inside and out of the party. A total of 15 parliamentary seats are up for grabs in Wednesday's by-election, with the Senuri Party already holding 147 spots in the 300-seat parliament. The opposition hopes to minimize ruling party gains. Jim Young-gil, Arirang News.